Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse. Broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey there, friends. Welcome back today to Daily Dose Radio. We're looking at verses 12 through 14 today in Psalm 83. If you've missed any of these episodes this week, I hope you go back and listen to this psalm. Um, One of the great prayers in the Bible here in Psalm 83, the psalmist is imploring God to do something about the enemies because it's not that they're attacking us or the people of God. It's that they're hating and attacking and conspiring against God himself. That's the way the psalmist frames this. He said last time in verses 9 through 11, Do unto them like you did unto Midian. We know about Midian. We know about Jabin and and Sisera and all the rest. We know what happened there. So the psalmist says, hey, do that to these folks. And now in verses 12 through 14, we have something similar. Let me read for you those three verses. Who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. O my God, make them like a wheel, as the stubble before the wind. As the fire burneth the wood, and as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. We've not had the Lord's name used very often in the psalm, but we find it here in verse 13. We had it at the very beginning when he cried out and he used O God twice in his opening prayer. We have it again here in verse 13, O God, O my God. Notice verse 12, who said, let us take to ourselves the houses of God in possession. Well, we know who that's talking here, right? This is the evil man. He's speaking here. I think we could add to our list, you know, we had talked about that list of things that describe the characteristics of evil in the world today. It's unified, it's organized, it's, uh, you know, has a membership, and it has a singular purpose. I think we can also say it's mouthy, because we've had their speech twice. We had it there in verse 4, and we got it here again in verse 12. Let us take to ourselves, the houses of God in possession. So they're speaking, and they're speaking arrogantly. And verse 13, he responds to that, Oh my God, there's our, there's our name of God again. Make them like a wheel, and then we have this one, two, three, four different things, similitudes that he wants God to do. Make them like. So do to them like you did to Sisera, to the Midianites. Make them like a wheel which rolls away, stubble before the wind, which is blown away, as a fire burneth the wood. Well, we know what happens with a wildfire, don't we? It completely consumes the wooded area that it's in. We've seen that over and over again in our lifetime. And as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. So he wants the, the evil ones to be like the wheel and the stubble, and he wants the Lord to be like a fire, that burns the wood and all that's on the mountainside. So, and perhaps, as the psalmist writes this, he's thinking of a particular mountainside where the enemy is located. And so he's he's asking God to do this work and completely consume these folks like a fire. Oh, my God. Because they're saying, hey, you know what? We're going to take the houses of God for ourselves. And the psalmist says, oh, God, please Make them like a wheel that rolls away, like stubble that gets blown away, and behave yourself like fire that completely consumes a wood. In other words, completely consume my enemy. You know what? This is a really good prayer for us to pray. Not because we have human enemies in this life, and perhaps we do, perhaps we don't. But the thing is, we have enemies of the soul, things that attach themselves to us that we need to be praying against and praying about. And asking the Lord to completely consume from us like a flame that sets the mountains on fire. Let the Lord consume completely that temptation that so drives me and and has me locked down that I can't see straight. Let the Lord drive the stubble away out of my life. That's the prayer we should be praying. Not against people, but against the things that tempt me and cause me to stumble. Well, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at verses 15 through 18 on Daily Dose Radio. Hey there, friends. Just wanted to remind you to go out and get yourself a copy of my new book, Christianity to the Life, 
by Cotton Mather, edited by me, David Smith. You can find it at Amazon. It's a paperback. It's also in Kindle form, so you can get it for your Kindle or you can get it for your library at home, however you'd like to have it. If you do, I really would appreciate if you would write a review after reading it. Let me know what you think. And it's a really good book. It'll encourage your Christian walk with the Lord. So go out and get Christianity to the Life today on Amazon. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. While on the Internet, pick up a copy of my book, Small Does Not Mean Struggling, and Other Stories of Small Church Propaganda. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.